Like, SMZ was terrifying in their match earlier against Team Falcons. I feel like... I don't know, it got a little dicey there for a second. I mean... He just, was yeah. LaFell's, just, LaFell's oh. sweating. Just, just pick up a Claude. Oh! Oh! oh. She got a Uranus Ooh. skin. Oh, I thought that was oh, the Gordon nice one. Skin, I like that skin, yeah. yeah. I thought that was the Gordon one. Oh, Khalid. Okay. Look at the, the Khalid She's skin. not impressed with that one. Hold on. What else? What else? What else? Oh. Wait, what skin is this? This is. Florin? This is Florin. Oh! Uh, wait, whose skin is that? Lunox. It's Lunox. Oh! That's actually a really nice skin. Wow, that's Lunox. She likes that. She nice. likes that, yeah. That's not bad. That's a good pull. Wait, is she doing more? Okay, is she nah, gonna nah, do nah. more? By the way, this is Riz Pipu, a Malaysian play by play caster. I think the Chinese crowd would be familiar with her, considering that she was our translator when the Chinese Dream called in for the BM side on day one. Her Mandarin is better than mine, and that's kind Same. of definitely better than mine. Yeah, better than mine as well. I think it's definitely a little more shameful for one of us, though. Me. Me. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I not, know all the languages. Not me at all. Let me oh, just say. We got another pull. Oh, man, everybody's pulling. Everyone's not jumping a production in on the bandwagon. What's it going to be? What you got? What you got? Okay. Oh, all right. Oh, the Terizla. But he just skipped it. He's like, I, the oh, right. the Belleric. We got the Belleric. Oh, oh not, not, not a good one. Oh, so oh, oh there we go. Another Masha! Another Dragon Tamer oh. Masha! And yes. even more! That's quite a lot of skins I there! I think he got the most! Yeah, definitely! Can or, I just say? Yeah? I think, I think, Mal like, there's something about Malaysians. You guys have so many diamonds. Uh, well... There's been so many draws here. Here's the thing. We're very good at drawing. We're not. <laughs> our priorities for our finances... Yeah. It's towards Mobile Legends. Let me just say gotcha. that. Gotcha. We're one of those countries that doesn't have the most population. Gotcha. But our spending power is on par. That's good to know. We're good drawers. Dude, I mean, like, salary is for skins. LaFell 2023. Salary is for skins. Salary is for salary skins. Is for salary, skins. Is for salary is for skins. Too bad you didn't get too many, huh? Shout outs to <laughs> anyone named Valerie. <laughs> Oh, even more! There's Another more! Pull. All the fans jumping in on... We can't focus on the oh. draft like this. Nah, the skins wow. are more important. There's a hero we haven't seen in a while. Done. We got Kadita. Kadita doesn't even have an animation. <laughs> got oh. Odette. Ooh, Odette. That's a nice one. Yeah. Oh, That's a nice skin. Oh, well, that's it's all right. It's all right. Well, he, he likes seems it. happy. Maybe he's a Kadita main. Oh, wait, no. Could be. Odette main. Could be, could be. I mean, if the... If the drawer is happy, then we're happy, right? Okay, now uh, um, this might be a long game because I see the Firemis and Diggy combo. Ooh. This, it's like KBG just needs a very solid marksman, maybe like a Brody to dish out like crazy burst damage. They should not be losing fights. I mean, Diggy with any strong laner would be good. Like both. I'm just saying, Diggy Vermis. Yeah, both Time Journey and Nether Realm are get out of jail free cards. Oh yeah. So now they have two. That's, That's pretty good, right? That is pretty good. That's so pretty good. What is the Guinevere gonna do now? Now that there's a Diggy. Dance. Hope to uh, have it be baited out, expended, and then follow up somehow, right? Like so right. you need more oh. CC. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 see, this is the Malaysian experience. What happened? We want to spin, but, <laughs> but no diamonds. No diamonds. <laughs> Man has already spent all of his salary. Well, next month. Thoughts and <laughs> <in> prayers. <laughs> next, <laughs> next month, exactly. <laughs> what, what's the date? I must break the code. <laughs> it's the, almost oh, the end exactly. of the month. Yeah. Oh! Wow. It's Esther. And Paquito. This looks like a... Similar lineup. It is going to be China? a long game. It is going to be a long Especially game. Especially with the Valentina, you could steal China represent. one of the alts. China represent. China showing represent. their flag proudly. Where, where are they going to put in the gold lane? Hmm? Brody, if mm. not Brody. Ixia is still okay, yeah. actually. Ixia is great. Ixia. I mean, like, Ix how can Ixia die with the Fairies and the Diggy? Pretty much, yeah. There's <laughs> nothing that really threatens it. They are. But they do go Brody. in. Bro, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a big fan. I feel like Ixia is hey, just the hey, obvious hey, choice. Hey, hey, I called it, all right? He's a fan. If the analyst says that hero, it's probably good, I. Right? 
I mean, just because it's good. Get in line. Get just because it's good doesn't mean I have to be a fan of it. Hey, if you can't be a fan, be an air conditioner. Yeah. That's the mindset Costs I have. Costs more money. I That's get more money. That's the mindset I have. I'm also be cooler. an air conditioner. Yes. Be an air conditioner. When everyone else is a fan, be an air conditioner. You're cooler that I'm way. I'm just going to stay a building. You, you want to be a building? No, I'm just going to stay Or would stay you like building. to be a heater so you can no, be hot? No, I'm just a building. Uh, I'm going to be paint, so I'll be all over you. Wait, what? <laughs> no, 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 wait, wait. No, <laughs> not like that, no. You sure? <laughs> this is what happens when you don't think before you speak. Are you on the inside or the outside of the building? Dude, 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 come on, dude. Stop. That's a Stafa thing That's to say. That's a Stafa thing to That's say. That's a Stafa thing to say. Why don't you just introduce this into the game? All right, I'll do just that. Let's jump into the land of Dawn for game number two. We got Team Lil Gun up against Keep Best Gaming. And against all odds, the Chinese representatives are one game up. Will they be able to turn this into a clean sweep? We'll find out. Yeah, right now, it looks like Aizen and CU. Aizen is winning the lane so far. CU not really trying to contest too much. And this is why I'm thinking of the Brody, just because the Brody is a lane bully. Same with the Diggy. So try to push your advantage there. Yeah, that is very annoying. There was a time when there's like this Diggy Bruno combination in the gold lane, and you basically could never win against it. Brody a little less oppressive, but not by much. So it's still going to be pretty difficult. But at least Bevex has the walking hospital, you know? So. To be honest, I don't know how much is going to happen in the goal lane. Hospital is a building. It yeah. is true. Is it covered in paint? The, uh, yes, it is. That's what, good. What color is the paint? Um, gray. I'm not sure. I'm colorblind. All right. Yeah, same. Ah, okay. Same. That's good to know. So, uh, For Naruto, there's a lot of uh, agility on the side of a Team Lilgun there. Gonna be trying to move around the map a little bit better. Only one Wilderness Blessing though, so that is kind of interesting. Looks like they're gearing up for more fighting with the tenacity. Oh. For now, a lot of pressure down here. Four members! Wow, this is pressure. There's a response though from KBG already. They're gonna go ahead and get some gold here for Lilgun, Ooh. but they're gonna be in trouble. ZX Aura will go down first blood. Go in the hands of God yet. That is basically the last thing you want to happen. The fact that Zexora has taken out here and the turtle just came up. Yes, he'll respawn in time, but that's gonna give some advantage. Keep Vest still pushing it too. That's also the other advantage that I didn't talk about is that the Brody can kind of stop a single engage tool. So if one person comes in, he can stop that one person. And if Team Lil Gun tries to stack their CC by coming in inside one by one, then the Brody will be a good matchup because you're able to, to make yourself safe as well as punish wow. the was inside. They just want the kills here. They don't care about the turtle. They're going to go under the turret. Nether Realm is going to come through. They might have made a mistake here. They have to back off and they give it up. Still going to be putting the pressure. They get the times journey out as well. Bebex on the hunt. Oh, our memory. But it's not enough. Ethan's still going to be up. Forbid gets the next kill and they punish KBG. Yeah, I think that was the wrong decision by Keep Best Gaming. They decided not to go for the turtle, even though they just picked off the enemy jungle right before that, and dive the tower, and I think they mistimed the Nether Realm, so Simba died before and any they of lose the a turret. ultimates came out. Yeah, that was very bad. I would say they also disrespected the Estes. They're yes. like, their HP is low, how much can the heal really be? <laughs> and it turns out to be quite a lot. It's quite a bit. The thing is, early game Estus actually doesn't heal all that much. So It's enough. Oh, and yeah. another thing is, you're under your own turret. When you're in the gold, uh, gold link turret, the, you'll get tank here. Oh, yeah, that's true. I, I forgot the, 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 the term. I think you have uh, extra defense? Yeah, it's like a damage taken is lower, something damage like that. Damage reduction. Damage reduction, that's the word I'm looking for. I always forget that's actually a mechanic, yeah, yeah, but yeah. yeah, it does exist. When you're near your own tower, you take less damage. In the goal lane. In the goal lane only? If I'm not mistaken, it's specifically in the goal lane. Okay, this is actually information yeah. for me. I did not know that. That's why I'm the analyst. Now you know. Yep. Now you know. That's true. That's the LaFell thing to do. Yep. Tell people things that they don't know, but so they know. So they know. Yes, yeah, so they know. The man has a dream of educating the entire oh. world. Oh! 
See you just get off, like kind of on the corner of the screen. They're gonna get taken out really quickly. So the XOR able to land that uh, spatial migration, get the Requiem off, they get a kill. Right now, Keep Best Gaming, their idea for re-winning this game is to basically have a good time doing at the goal lane. It's not happening right now. Bebex on this Bruno seems more eager to go in front rather than playing the Ixia where his positioning is a little bit off. And they want to find again Simba here. Forces out the heals. Blessing of the Moon, Goddess of Praise of Wrath, and the Nether Realm expended as well. Meanwhile, Turtle again freely secured for Team Lil Gun. Zexor right now having securing the Turtle. This is more of what Team Lil Gun has been showing Ouch. throughout the tournament, no? Like yeah. getting good trades in the early and the mid game. Yeah, this definitely feels closer to what we've grown to expect from this team. It's a little less aggressive than before, but more disciplined, which is exactly what you want to see from the team so far. And the fact that Zexora is able to get the first two turtles, even though he was the first blood of the game, shows that he best hasn't really been able to push that advantage. Oh. Right now, Aizen is pushing, see you, see it's him. Yeah, it looks like he doesn't care. He's gonna try to fight this out, using that final slash already, but the damage has been done to that turret. Meanwhile, on the top side, they're Ooh. gonna jump in. They get the time's journey out. Forbid there as well has his own Nether Realm. He's gonna have to use it, and the damage is too much. Tides and LMU go down. Simba too late for this fight. Mm, there's not too much you can do about that. Blessing of the Moon Goddess and Nether Realm when they don't have. The... Actually, did they have their cooldowns? I feel like I didn't really see the, the time journey out. Yeah, but either way, it's a good composition here because one of the things about a Guinevere is that when you engage, you could be put in a bad position unless you instantly get out. But Forbid gets another kill. I'm just saying, this Estus is really completing the entire lineup, making it so that nothing really looks like a mistake. The fact that Forbid can take the Nether Realm just adds layers to that. So, I don't know, Team Little Gun, after all of this, this Estus is, is working really well. Yeah, considering this is a team that seems to want to take it a little bit slower against Key Best Gaming and figure out the best method of approach, if you can just heal up any damage you take during that time and walk in fully healthy, that sounds like a pretty good deal to me. Yeah, the Conceal already going to be used, spotted out by Forbid. If you guys notice, this is a much different pace from Team Little Gun for this second game. I mean, judging by their pace, they could end below 50 minutes. They're gonna try for it, fighting under the tier one. They take quite a bit of damage themselves. Into the back line they go. Time's journey could be used as well. Still fighting it out, torn apart. Memory expended. They get their own Nether Realm plus the heal. Appraiser's Wrath can't find anybody. Four bits still hunted for kills. And it's just like that. Nobody falls. Turtle up though. Team Little Gun gonna go ahead and get the turret and probably claim this turtle as they have for most of the series. Yeah, I feel like that's definitely more impressive for Keep Best compared to Little Gun though. Having that Estus and five members in the mid lane, they I feel like they definitely had the resources to get a kill. So it's good that Keep Best were able to maintain a good defensive positioning, only trading a couple of towers at this stage, considering the difference in the net worth. But the longer this goes, the easier it's going to be for Team Lil Gun. Bebex 3 0 and 2 already on this Bruno, and we know how scary the hero becomes in that late game. Right now, it's all about Keep Best Gaming. How do they survive the, the onslaught coming in from Team Lil Gun? Because the damage coming in from the Brody is good, but it's single target only. So they kind of have to kill one person at a time. The only way that I can see Keep Best Gaming to be able to, to dish this out, if, if somehow CU can get to the back line and slow down Bebex a little bit, giving time for Guardian to just kill members one at a time. But the fact that if Forbid gets the Nether Realm, as well as Ethan is there to heal the team back up, that entire strategy kind of falls out the window. It, it's not going to help the team, so oh, I don't know. Conceal going to be used. They want Forbid here. He's got his own time's journey. So he gets out just fine. Torn apart, memory used too. It looks like they're going to crash down on them. Team Lundle Gun on the hunt. Not sure if they can find anything, but you saw that. Even when you were talking about breaking that down, LaFell, Ganyang's down nearly 2,000 gold Oof. from Bebex. I also note that his build is kind of interesting. He went uh, Sea Halberd Malefic Aurora. So no like Heptasis or Hunter Strike or whatever 
Like, does that work? I don't know. At this point, I kind of feel like he needs at least a... If he's greedy, even the Blade of Despair is fine. But that that is a little bit too greedy when you're at this point of the game. See if they can just keep it together. Again, under 10 minutes going. Final Slash going to be committed. Time's Journey also. Lord still going to be worked on. They're holding it together. Trying to keep it at bay. Lord finally goes down. Team Little Gun might still look for base turrets if they can find them. Right now, they're happy with what they've got. Dude, 10 minutes in, and Team Little Gun is already at the base of Keep Best Gaming with 10,000 gold. Yeah. That's, that's a big difference from game one. That's a complete reversal, in fact. I guess now that there's no longer the big ultimate CCs coming in from their oh, opponents. They're going to jump in. They did get that final slash out as well. Turret finally going to go down. This team, Logan, want to end it here under that 11 minute mark. They're surely going to try. Forbid holding on to his what? own no. final slash. Does he use it here? They pull through. Oh. Team Little Gun will end it in 10 and a half minutes. They ended the game in 10 minutes? Do you see this coming, Naisu? No. Right? Who would have thought? Okay. Wow. Uh, Two uh, times is weird, three times is stranger. At th the fourth time, is Team Lil Gun using game one to experiment against their opponents? I have no idea, but they are going to secure victory here and go into a game three for our final match of the group stage. From 33 minutes going to 10. That's a that's a big difference. Like that's a big difference. I'm guessing the Novaria was really the problem. Like it was their first ban, and after that, it's just like there's no issues anymore. The Astral Echo is apparently very scary. That uh the 180 degree switch is wow. Kind of insane, actually. It's almost as if a different team is playing, right? I don't, I don't know what the, what the thought process is. It's almost as if the team is like some kind of machine collecting data in game yeah. one, and then after that, they just adjust. They have the perfect solution and end game two as fast as possible. Let me just say, if anyone after looking at game number one thought that that game was gonna end at around ten minutes, dude, you're insane. You're Clever, you're brilliant. Different level, different level. You'd be almost as clever as LaFell himself. He, he's better than great. He's a building. He is better than great. He's a building, dude. With paint in him. <laughs> in him. He sure is. It's a very pretty building. I'm not gonna look at paint the same way. I look. I, I, I apologize for bringing that up. All right. I wasn't thinking. I mean, uh, I'm not known for cl cleverness. I'm not known to think and then talk. Look, I'm trying to do it right now. It doesn't work. That's true. Maybe we should, l l let's give LaFell a break for a moment so that his brain can catch up as we now talk about the MVP for game number two. And here he is in the room of Team Lil Gun. A very impressive performance here from Forbid for game number two, the Valentina gameplay. Though, it's definitely set up for him, right? When you have that Nether Realm, that time journey to steal away, it does. You know, you're kind of spoiled for choice. Yeah, 100% win. Per kill participation, not win wow. rate. I mean, hey, mid lanes matter, man. Like, first <laughs> it was the mid laner coming in from Keep Best Gaming, and now it's the mid laner coming in from Lil Gun. I'm changing from a Rome to a EXP, now I'm gonna play mid. Same. He's like a multi-tool. Oh, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play Gord. <laughs> you can. Uh. <laughs> you can. Uh, I'm still hoping, at least at some point in the M5, to see him pop up, right? But even look at the highlights here. It, things kind of fell in the place, right? And this was a conscious decision, by the way, early on for yeah. KBG, just to say, you know what? We don't want to. We don't care about the turtle. Let's try to get the kills, and it backfired early on for them, and then it just kind of snowballed from there. If yeah. only the SS wasn't there. And yeah. if only they chose not to attack in the first five minutes. Yeah, probably not the best idea, but it's true. If Ethan had been on literally any other hero, they definitely would have been able to walk out with at least one kill in exchange for Simba in that situation. But the fact that they were able to just top up their HP meant that uh, Kivest already lost a lot of the lead they got from a very effective first blood. After that, 
Team Lil Gun just put the pedal to the metal, never stopped running and rushed the game in one of the fastest we've seen. Oh yeah, definitely one of the fastest we've seen. And I would say this is one of those things where I kind of feel like you win because of the draft. Like they have answers to any kind of situation. So they have a lot in their utility kit. That is true. One of the strengths that I noted about Team Lil Gun before the wild card started was that they seem to have an insane hero pool. And they're willing to basically pick whatever is necessary depending on what their opponents bring to the table. And the fact that they're de debuting the Estes this deep into the group stage, the fact that they're able to switch up their entire lineup after game one and perform this effectively is kind of scary. Yeah, and again, I, I, Galleon didn't do that much damage, so... He didn't, yeah. I understand having that anti-heal in the early game, trying to fight out against the Estes is good, but Mobile Legends is kind of a different game, where sometimes just out-damaging it straight out yields more results. So I kind of feel like that's also part of the inexperience, where we understand what items do, but at the same time... like, Let me give you an example. People have tested it out, and it does turn out that in certain situations, the blade armor is better than the um, Dominance Ice when it comes to a very sustain-heavy kind of composition just because the return damage deals more damage to the opponents than, than trying to cut their, their healing in half. So this is one of those things that after experimentation as yeah. well as after application, you kind of have, have a good root of understanding of how everything works. So. This is just one of those situations that perhaps he's not used to fighting in this matchup, that he doesn't know the right itemization to use. Itemization is a very tricky topic. There's a lot of depth to it. And while you could have a understanding of it after a little while, there's just such a high skill ceiling in understanding the specific interactions between different items. That's why I personally don't think about it and just grab pro builds whenever I play the game as well. But that's, that's a strat. You yeah, know? That's a strat. It's a, a strat, strat, right? Yeah. Yeah. And but let other people do the thinking for me. You know, that's the thing, though. Is like even if you look at the items from KBG, like they had all the anti items, anti heal items they needed. But unfortunately, like Estes heals are so strong, especially early on, that if you don't have the damage to follow up on things, and then you have a Valentina taking the Nether Realm, so yeah. that it's even longer. It's an extended fight, and you just don't have the firepower you need. You know, that's where things kind of just show themselves in a lot of those fights early on. Apparently for Estes, 50% of what Estes can, can do is still a lot. Yeah. That is true. And honestly, th this game just brought up really bad memories for me. You know, I did an interview with DJ right. Mai a few days ago. All One right. of the questions he asked me is, who is my least favorite, like the hero I dislike playing against most in the Land of Dawn? And when I was put on the spot, I actually couldn't think about it. I just gave him a random sort of answer. Now I remember. It is this guy right here. It's this, it's this Estes. First thing for I, me... I hate that hospital meta. First thing for me is the Franco. Is it? I hate getting, getting suppressed. Mm. I'm okay with Kaja because Kaja has to work for it. Franco, you get lucky, you get hooked. It's like, oh well, I guess, I guess I'll see you guys in 50 seconds or less. <laughs> Pretty much. I don't like the Franco. Which we haven't seen. Well, we've seen a little bit. A little bit. But not like before, you know? If you ask me, we've seen it too much. That's true. Understandable. How about you, Nice? If there's two Francos in, in an entire tournament, too much for me. Wow. Dislike it. Dislike it. If yeah. there's, like, as in it pops up twice. In, I'm a roamer. And if 